Ronda is one of the most enchanting places to visit in the whole of Spain and I'm going to show you why you should absolutely put it on your bucket list. It is an amazing place with some spectacular views. It's been on my bucket list for a few years now and I am lucky enough to be ticking it off and actually spending my birthday in Ronda. Ronda is a beautiful town in the Andalusia region of Spain with impressive historical ruins and like I said, stunning views. It's famous throughout all of Spain for its iconic bridge hanging across a canyon and the town itself looks like it's precariously balancing on top of the gorge. I'm sure you've probably seen pictures of Ronda. It is one of Andalusia's beautiful pueblos blancos or white villages of which there are quite a lot around the area and doing kind of an Andalusian road trip or something like that would be amazing visiting all the different pueblos blancos along the way that would be something I would love to do but back to Ronda the bridge of Ronda Puente Nuevo is the main draw but there are so many other things to do and see in Ronda but first, a little bit of Ronda history. It was settled as early as the 6th century. The Celts, the Phoenicians and the Romans have all lived in Ronda. The Berbers took control in the 8th century and named it Hisn ar Runda, Castle of Runda, and that's where Ronda got its name from. In the 15th century, Ronda was captured by the Christians. It is such a popular destination in southern Spain. It's the third most visited city in Andalusia. And it's one of the most popular day trips to do from Malaga. Or if you're staying along the coast anywhere really in southern Spain. Betel Medina, Fuengarola, uh, Marbella, Estepona. You can do Ronda in a day from there. Personally, I'm staying for a couple of days because it was <laughs> somewhere that I really wanted to see. You can do it in a day or you could stay a couple of days like I am too. Link down below will be the Ronda blog post. You can check that out. It'll have all the information on what to do, where to stay, how to get to Ronda, everything you need to know to have an amazing experience in Ronda. Let's get on to why you should absolutely add Ronda to your bucket list. The bridge and the views are obviously the main draw of Ronda. We'll get into those a little bit later, but there's so many other things to do whilst you are here. There's Plaza de Toros, which is a bullfighting ring. It's the oldest stone bull ring in all of Spain. And personally, I'm not an advocate for bullfighting, but it is still a significant part of Spanish culture. And this 18th century bull ring still hosts bullfights today, and it's open for tours. You can just admire it outside for free or you can pay the small admission charge of nine euros to go inside. Inside, you can just wander around the bull ring. You can also access the museums where there are artifacts such as weapons, uniforms and armor. And there's also a section that talks about bullfighting from past through to present, showcasing various prints, costumes and memorabilia throughout the ages. And also, this bullring is not the largest in the world, it's got 5,000 seats, but it does have the largest circle of sand in the middle, which is a diameter of 66 metres. It's pretty big. Just behind the Plaza de Toros in Newtown is a lovely little 19th century park, the Alameda del Tajo. It is a beautiful little area which is really good to get out of the heat of the sun. It can get very hot in Ronda. It's been between 37 and 39 whilst we've been here at the end of June. And so it's really nice to have a little walk through this park area under the shade of the trees. A garden I put the sprinkles on as well and we got a bit of a, a spray from the sprinkles. That was lovely in this heat. And as you walk through this park, you will be greeted by, again, more fantastic views. There's Mirador de Ronda, where you can just look down. Fantastic views over the gorge, the mountains, and Puente Nuevo. There is just views everywhere. Let's talk about the bridge now, Puente Nuevo which means new bridge. It is just five minutes walk from Plaza de Toros and Almada del Tajo towards the old town. It's the iconic landmark of Ronda and the reason that most people visit the town. It's an 18th century bridge, which is the newest of the three bridges, hence its name, New Bridge. 
and it goes over the 100 meter deep Tajo Gorge. It connects the old town to the new town and there's a river that runs at the bottom of it. It was completed back in 1793 after over 30 years of work. When you cross the bridge there are again some gorgeous views of the surrounding countryside and above the middle arch of the bridge you'll see a solid column that was used as a prison back in the day. I understand you can visit this area, I couldn't quite figure out how to to be honest but if anyone knows write it down in the comments where how you can actually get inside and have a little look. There's also some great walkways from both sides of the bridge if you are on old town side or new town side you can take these walkways to several different lookouts for better views into the rural area surrounding Rhonda. I have a not so fun fact for you the first attempt to unite the old town with the new town was in 1735 with a 35 meter arch built in nine months but it collapsed pretty soon after being built and it killed about 50 people. So now you have walked across Puente Nuevo, you need to go and see it from down below. The view from the top of the bridge is amazing, but the best view and the most iconic view in the town is from below Puente Nuevo. I'm gonna head down one of the paths on the south side of the gorge. The place is called Mirador de Maria Auxiliadora. If you head to my blog post, I've linked to actually where specifically that area is so you can take a look more specifically but from below it's just oh it's absolutely breathtaking and amazing you can really appreciate just how tall the bridge is and you can also see a waterfall from the river below walking down to this viewpoint is it's a pretty long walk to be honest and it's an even longer walk back up so i definitely wouldn't recommend it in the peak heat of the middle of the day you know make sure you have some water with you because it can be hard work getting back up but it is definitely it's a must see you've got to go and do that walk and see the bridge from down below whilst you are there Rhonda does have other bridges. Puente Nuevo is the newest, it's the largest of three bridges that connect the old town to new town across the gorge but definitely don't just see Puente Nuevo, see the other ones as well. Most people who visit Ronda don't even realise that there are other bridges that cross over the El Tajo Gorge. The other two bridges, Puente Viejo, bridge is know. Puente Viejo is old, so the old bridge, it's also known as the Roman bridge and Puente Arab the Arab bridge they take you much lower into the gorge and it's really nice to see the place from a different perspective next on the list of things that you should see whilst you're in Rwanda is Puerta de Alcobaba it's on the southern side of town and it's one of Rwanda's 13th century town gates there's also city walls there that you can walk along and they are some really impressive remains from a long long time ago this main gate the Puerta de Alcobaba was the, one of the main entrances to the town back in the day. Something that I have really been enjoying doing whilst we have been in Rwanda is just wandering around the old town. Early morning walks or early evening walks, not so much midday walks because it's like I say it's very very hot and particularly in old town it does feel quite hot. It's There's no breeze because the walkways and the paths are very thin and narrow it, it gets really really hot so early morning late evening and it's just been fantastic just wandering around our hotel is in old town and i've just enjoyed taking a little stroll out it has the quintessential look of andalusia beautiful architecture whitewashed buildings there seems to be palaces and museums just all over the place it's wonderful just wandering around and the last thing to do whilst you're in Rwanda is the Arab baths, Banyos Arabs. They are €3.50 to enter and these Arab baths date from the 13th to the 14th century when the Arabs were in Rwanda and it is really fascinating taking a look at them. They are some of the best preserved in the whole of Andalusia. So that is why you should put Rhonda on your bucket list. It is honestly an amazing, 
beautiful beautiful place that i recommend anyone to go and visit have you visited Rhonda? if you have let me know what you thought about it down in the comments i absolutely love it here there's only if i had one complaint it would be like we're here at the end of june like i say and it is midday it's it's getting up to almost 40 degrees and it is extremely extremely hot so maybe if you're planning on coming come a little bit <laughs> earlier or later maybe I don't know, April or October, maybe it's slightly better weather to be viewing Wanda and wandering around, but it's just an yeah. absolutely stunningly beautiful place. Don't forget to check out the blog post linked down below if you want any more details about Wanda, where to stay, when certain things are open, anything like that. That will all be in the blog post linked down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it has helped you out and I hope it has convinced you to put Wanda on your bucket list. Thanks for watching. Bye.